been a beauty expert on cruise ships? I've been busy. <laughs> what was it in your background that made you so well, my determined to, to work? My mother used to, well, the Norwegian ethic is work. You know, if you don't work, you're no good. And uh, my mother used to make all my clothes, and uh, I was very plain growing up. And I, people would stop me and say, oh, what a beautiful dress she has on. Oh, where did she get that coat? Or where did she get that hat? My mother would make all my clothes, so she wanted me to follow in her footsteps, of course. But unfortunately, she died when I was 15, so I didn't have her for very long. But I, I studied fashion and, and art in school and won a scholarship to the Trap Hagen School in New York. Did, did you know from early on that you were going to have a career? Well, I knew I was going to be doing something. <laughs> you didn't want to be a housewife? No, I wanted, first of all, I wanted to be a ballerina. Then I grew too tall. Then I went to, my cousin took me to see a play at Minneapolis at the Lyceum Theater with Gladys George. And I tell you, she, she, I was, I was enthralled with her, her acting. And I said, that's what I want to do. I want to be a stage actress. And you were not just quickly. There are two extraordinary credits that Arlene has. She was on Broadway with Jose Ferrer in Cyrano de Bergerac. Yes. And then I saw you at the Palace Theater at, in applause. In applause yes, did. I did. Yes, I did. And you played the Betty Davis role yes. in the musical, and very well indeed. But my first musical was when I uh, was uh, uh, playing at the theater now that, uh, that is the CBS Theater on Broadway. And I was in Mr. Strauss Goes to Boston, and I, I got it through just at auditioning on a lunch hour on a vacation from Chicago. I was there with my buyer who wanted me to take her place when she retired two, two years hence. And uh, so I picked up a variety, and I saw that we were having auditions for a musical called Mr. Strauss Goes to Boston, and I'd studied voice. I knew I could dance. So I went, and I was one of the last to audition, and I got the part. Now, how do you tell the woman who brought you very nicely to New York and gave you an hour off or two hours off? Right? <laughs> you, you've got a part that starts two days hence, and you can't go back with her to Chicago. How do you do that? Well, I had a tough time, but she was so wonderful. She and said, I will give you a six-week, a six-month leave of absence to get show business out of your head. <laughs> and I'll give you an advance on your salary, which she did, and she would pay for my room until I got uh, paid by the, by the producer. And she was wonderful. I paid her back in short time. But you didn't get show business out of your head in no, six months or in 60 it was years. No, nailed in. <laughs> <laughs> and when you were in that play, Jack Warner discovered you? Yes, on opening night, Jack Warner and his uh, uh, Sally Viana was his casting director. They were in the audience, and uh, after the opening, which I really loved, I mean, uh, hearing that, the music, and uh, I, I mean, I just had such a good time. I had a principal part with two other ladies in it, and I sang and danced. George Balanchine was a choreographer, so you can imagine. Anyway, there's a knock on the dressing room door afterward, and there was a, somebody said, Arlene, there's somebody here to see you. And I open the door, and there stands two very distinguished looking gentlemen. One hands me a card. He said, I'm Jack Warner, and there's a solid beyond that we want you to come to Hollywood to make a screen test. We think you do well on the screen. I wonder why. <laughs> no. So I had a roommate that I couldn't leave at the time, but Eventually, I went to Hollywood and I did the screen test, and the rest is history. So you, you, it's almost.